Alright guys, employee arrested for stealing $25,000 to purchase a Gucci purse and a new car. Let's check it out. I would take like little by little and never take huge amounts like this. Now she's, first clip, she's straight up admitting to it. What? On June 6th. Dude, uh, wait. New car. That's going to cost a lot. 2021, a displeased business owner reported a grand theft incident at her store to 911. During an audit, it was discovered that over $25,000 had unaccountably disappeared. There should be $1,200 bills in there. Hey, bro, that's a lot. At first, she didn't know who was stealing the money. Later, she became suspicious of an employee. This worker started buying... Wow, bro. That's a lot more than the nine hundred dollars that that the minimum required for theft for it to be uh, categorized as like a felony in California, guys. A lot more. New cars and often came to work with new Gucci bags each week. Sorry, I'm a nervous guy. Twenty six. I never thought this would happen. I treat my. Have you got have you got your initials to set on those dollar bills? The owner chose to devise her own counter sting operation. She marked the bills with a distinctive letter before the officers arrived as a method to confirm that the money was indeed stolen from her cash register. That's like we have the bank numbers. Plus, we have the serial numbers of the other cell phones. Okay. So, all right. How do we do this? Do I just go in and just, uh... And she, she, she knows she's working there right now as well, guys. How does she look? She's got a long, tan cap skirt. 25K is nothing to mess around with, guys. That's... That's a year's worth of income for me, man. I just have me on video, but not her on video doing it, but I have the time. But she went over time. Yeah, of course. What's your phone number? Excuse me, man. Uh, is that her right there, man? Seven. She's working real hard. Uh, working real hard buying new cars with stolen money, man. Okay. They're letting her finish with the customer. Oh, snap. Oh my goodness! Hey, that's that's good. Hey, that she's being res respectful, guys. Like, you know, let her let her finish up up with the customer before she loses her job. That's good. That's good. That's good business practice. Don't want to. <laughs> they call back. It's not gonna be her no more. All right, perfect. We'll give you a text, okay? Um, I'll check if they match you today. Hello. Hey, Hi. how are you doing? Good, Sumer how are State you? Castleberry Police Department. Yeah. The reason why I'm here today is because we got a call in reference to something. I was wondering if we could talk to you for a second. Okay? Yeah, of course. Is there somewhere we can talk to her? A few months ago, privately, you can just go on the back. I'm on the phone to the customer to being uh, detained, guys. Yeah, you can okay. show us. Just like at the very back. Yep. Sorry. You messed back there. Right. So, first question is, can you guess why we're here? Um, I was accused of stealing money at a party. That was it. Stealing money at a party, guys? Well, not with new cars of her freaking business money. Yeah. Uh, you got your car. Yeah, I do. Alright, I'm just gonna read this out to you, alright? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can we... Dang, bro. Straight to the Miranda raids, guys. Straight to the Miranda raids. Don't see that that often, guys. Will be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. At this a point, you just like want. You're like, oh snap! What's going on? What's going on here? Before we ask you any questions, to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you before questioning. If you wish, if you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop questioning at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand the rights that you're ready? Sure. Okay, so tell us about. I was really just looking for a tampon. Like, I, I, all I was doing was trying to look for a tampon. I thought I started my period, and I had moved this girl's bag. I only paid her back because I didn't want anything to happen. I didn't want it to be put on me because 
I'm not that kind of person. And the way she was talking. There's just too much evidence against her at this point. You know what I mean? You know I me mean? like it felt like it was gonna be. Who was the sheep? Was it your manager or? No, it was um a girl at the party that I guess she had messaged me, and she said like I saw you the one doing that. Um, what's this? What's this young lady's name? I I didn't get to know her. Um, I have it on my phone. I can show it to you. Okay. Um, I think it started with an A. Uh -huh. But she said like either way, I'm gonna like put legal. Okay. And what, where was this party? It was at um, like a New Year's event center, in Lake Mary. Lake Mary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate it, but mm -hmm. that's not necessarily why we're here today. We're here because you're being accused of theft. However, the theft. It's not in regards to that part. It's in regards to something that's happened here today. Okay. So. Yeah, wh why is she bringing up this freaking stuff about a party, guys? Like. We have a manager um, who advised us that, well, not manager, you have one of your other co workers mm -hmm. who advised us that they left a certain amount of dollars, very identifying marks mm -hmm. on that. And you were the only person who was still. Okay. So. She also has the receipts of the opening of when the drawer was opened, what exact time. Okay. So where we're at right now is uh, I can't, I can't promise you anything, mm -hmm. but for me, and I'm sure we also for our same thing, honesty is the best policy. Yeah, I got to turn my volume up here, guys. I can't. Okay. So could you tell us anything about that? I did do so they're like, yo, yo, what do you mean about a party, bro? We're saying she sure already you knows she's being accused. Of, she's on the job. They're arresting her on the job. She still kept showing up to, to work after stealing a ton of money. Um, I'm having some issues with money right now. Um, I just like bought off a new car, so it's. I haven't been working lately. Um, I will admit to that. So was it just today, or has it been in the past? It was today, and then I've done it in the past before, but never like large amounts. How much would you say? Probably like. That's why we walked up to the Three hundred, maybe, was the most. Three hundred? No, no, no. Beforehand, it's in my bag. Okay, can I go look through that bag? Yes, sir. It's gonna be in that pocket. If I'm wasting your time, I don't wanna waste it. You guys have better things to do than this stuff. Does that make sense? No, that's that. It's straight up, uh. Straight up admitting to it right here, guys. No matter where it's from. Is, does she get reimbursed for this? Does, like, insurance cover for, for it or something? No. Your time is valuable. All right, do you mind, do you mind uh, coming over here for me? Sure. Just to identify. That's not my, person. can I take a picture of you here? I already have all the pictures. This is going on in the report. Can you identify these bills? Give me one second. Do you see any J's so far? That's more I have serial numbers. Okay. Oh, the other side. I gotta get the serial numbers. It's a lot more than 300, guys. It's at least 500, I count. The J's I know are winners. There's one J. There's my J's. There's another J here. This is the only J, but I'll get you the serial number. That's a J. That's my J. Okay. Caitlin, I need the serial numbers. No. Look at her body language. She's she's upset now. Let's see what she says when um she's got the cuffs on her, guys. situations that have happened or especially with things like that you know i can't promise you that but you don't have a record so that's there's no pattern there now the, the situation out of lake mary we don't that has nothing to do with us yeah we're only here for for this that happened today and the stuff is happening over time okay mm -hmm. so like i said you know it's not for us to sit up there and be like hey you know you did this to come and hammer your body and like that no one is wrong you have to be accountable for it yeah. right but it's not a situation where like, the police doing a good job of not like as es escalating her emotions or anything you know what i mean like i said it's not foreseeable that you could have a future after this okay mm -hmm. so i'm going to 
gonna go talk with her. Um, and then, uh, are they discussing her possible, like, uh, her remaining employed here? If you were the boss, would you uh, hire her again after this happened? I'll be... Because uh, I don't want you to go back in there. And I'll be back. And I have to tell you, at this moment, you're being placed in investigative detention. I'm not going to put you in cuffs or nothing like that right now. We'll, we'll get to that later, okay? We're just going Live supporting documentation. She, uh, he said, he said, he said, we'll do that later. OMG. Can she have a seat for a minute? Of course. Let's just have a seat. Okay. You have, you have your customers and stuff. We'll do our best to get the quiet. Okay. Does, does this belong to you? The $5. Yes. That was given to me from her. Okay. I owe her money for coffee, the five singles. Oh, yes. Hey, listen, that's nice. Let me grab something. Yeah. Hey, bro, she's, she's still giving her money for coffee. Not being escalative or anything, but she did, you know, call the police, which is, I think, warranted for this situation. How many, how many do you want to press charges? Yes, I do. And because I it? added it up. It's $7,000 that's been going on. You're breaking my freaking heart. I have the documentation in my car. I wasn't prepared to turn it over because I was trying to rule it out. But I'll show you what I was preparing for my insurance company. Okay, let's it's, see that. It's, it's well over what she has here. I was hoping she would show it all. What you took this morning and you didn't. So, no. And I'm well, that's, that's not making, that's making not contentious. Well, I wouldn't. And where was the other, where was the other bit? I, t I told him it was in that back pocket of my bag. She's visibly upset, guys. She's been probably holding in the motions for a while of what's been going on. Still giving her money for coffee and stuff. Like which, that, which one? The one with the zipper. Right here? Yeah. yeah. Is that the rest of it from today or? Yes, sir. Put, uh, she put the J. Oh, smokes. That's a oh, big okay. stack, bro. Is this all from this business? Yes, sir. Okay. Hey, at least she's admitting to it, guys. Straight up slipping it in her purse while while the boss is around. What? Man, what the heck? I'm going to put your keys back in your purse if you don't mind. Yes, Think that much money is gonna go missing, and nobody's gonna notice. I mean, this, it ain't 20 bucks. Um, I'm gonna go count my drawer. I can tell you what I had. Like, okay. Stacks on stacks, guys. Wow. Alrighty, what's your name? Yana. Alright, Yana, do me a favor, stand up. Five, ten, ten. Right now, you're gonna be placed under arrest for theft, okay? Do me a favor, lift your hands up. Do anything. That's bro, that's guys. I'm gonna search for anything, I'll let them do that. Let the judge, okay? Mm. 13, 1360? Does that sound right? 307, one, 1050. Does that sound right, ma'am? 1360? I did. Okay. okay. So it was only the one time before this? It took me like 300? Yeah. Okay. Because I was making good money before and I was working a lot more. So what, did she cut your hours or something? Is there a reason why she did that? To me, I feel like it's because I wasn't doing anything right. So it kind of sucked. Because of the amount. Um, when she first called us, she made, she gave us a number, and you would have gotten a notice to appear because oh, you would, you could have gotten. Sorry. That's our, yeah, that's our supervisor that. now. Uh, <laughs> you would have gotten a notice to appear. Sorry, memory stuff. I called him unnecessary. You see that You can just look at all of it. You can have it. Um, and that twenty-two thousand doesn't. Exactly. No, because I didn't know she was going to. I actually okay. came in because I was planning on just interviewing her. Right. She was not originally who I thought it was going to be. I was very shocked. I, I got it down to just, I rolled out. Then she had to do her inv own investigative work, guys. Everybody but her and another girl. Yeah. And I actually just thought it was the other girl, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you. But now looking at all this evidence and the time clocks when she was here, it all lines up. Yeah. Makes sense. Do you recollect any of those things? How much do you think you've taken over the years? It's just this year, by it's the way. Just this it's year. just this year. How many? I didn't keep track. I mean, you got to have a ballpark. 
in excess of a thousand dollars. How much was your purse? How much was your car? Right. Yeah. 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 How much do you think? Um, I want to hear what you think. That was yeah, business keeps tabs on this man. They it's their job to do it, but bro, because lo losing money and stuff that's not something that uh, they they take lightly, man. You know what I mean? They, they got to fi figure out why why they're losing money all of a sudden at a time or yeah, yeah, so if you don't think you took that much, you gotta have a ballpark of how much you do think. You I have right? documentation here to show. I know. Go ahead and head north for her to pick this up. Send you a picture of it when she's done. That way, it gives her time to. Twenty. Alrighty, cool. Um, what side am I going? Um, try to keep it away from you know the general public. So I can make a good decision. Um, like I said, I talked to her. Um, the person accused was given a year of probation and must pay back twenty thousand dollars. We hope she's learned from this so she won't end up on a show like America's Most Wanted. Probation, guys. I would Almost had a, uh, I, I don't know, guys. I mean, she didn't do it violently. Or, I don't know, man. Do you think it was a light sentence or not? I'm not going to give my opinion here. Surprised she got probation. She embezzled 25k. Well, paying it back, she promised to pay it back. She's probably not going to keep the job. I don't think she would. On her hand, uh, like a professional, she didn't take it too personally and follow the money trail. She even had insurance that covered this. Thankfully, they do, right, guys? Yeah, she did good by marking the bill bills as well. Yeah, only probation, guys. Let me know what you think of the sentence. Peace out, everyone. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the original video in the description, and I'll see you guys next one.